What's up, everybody? Boy, Big Daddy, Big Daddy Customs, back at you again, and uh, doing a quick video of you know stuff I got going on in the shop. Um, yesterday, I uh, found out that one of my paint cans was leaking, um, so I went ahead and I decanted it. It's like a metallic, grape purple kind of color, and uh, I know it's you know kind of a lame container to have my paint in but you know I'll transfer it into something a little useful more useful a little later on um which is kind of the point to this video uh I was talking with my buddy the other day uh yesterday as a matter of fact uh my buddy Neo 519 you guys probably know him and um we were discussing you know decanting paint and uh the methods of thinning and uh, whether they need to be thin um, you know what to use to thin certain paints and how well each paint shoots through an airbrush um, so you know I kind of wanted to address that in this video and uh, kind of see get some information from some of you guys that uh, have already been using airbrush for a while and you know kind of give me some insight and stuff like that so um, let me show you guys what I got here. Alright, I have this acrylic. Um, this stuff is fairly thick. Uh, and you guys can see this stuff's fairly thick. And uh, this is that folk art stuff. And I have about six bottles of this stuff on um, different colors. Um, this was one of the things that we were trying to figure out whether you could shoot the airbrush and if you could, if you had to, well, and obviously you have to thin it, but what you would thin it with um, to make it shootable through an airbrush. Um, like this stuff here, um, that was the other question with primers. Uh, are there any primers that uh, would be best for shooting through an airbrush or is just taking the primer, shooting it right through the can the best bet? Um, I know some fillers are thicker than others, uh, like the filler primers are usually a little bit thicker than just regular old primer, surface primer, um, so that was one of the other things. Uh, lacquers, lacquers, um, I imagine that, you know, the stuff that you can shoot out of an aerosol can, uh, you can probably just decant and shoot straight into, through an airbrush. But, uh, th again, I'm not 100% on that. So, I, you know, I want to decant all my paint. Well, decant all of my paint. And uh, I wanted to... I'm planning on getting an airbrush here before too long. And uh, so I wanted to start getting some paint ready and, you know, have it on hand. That way when I do get my compressor and all that good stuff, um, I can go ahead and start using it. Uh, but the other thing was... Um, the little bottles of touch-up paint that you find at your, you know, local hardware st or not whole hardware stores, but um, AutoZone, Advanced Auto Parts, O'Reilly, stuff like that, where you can get little touch-up bottles, bottles of touch-up paint. Um, I was wondering how those did, uh, whether they needed to be thinned, uh, what you need to thin with, that sort of thing. Um, yeah, if you guys can offer, you know, any information on that, on these, on this stuff. That would be awesome. Um, just a little something that me and my buddy were talking about and kind of wanted to know the answer to. Um, but I mean, that's pretty much it for, you know, as far as the question part of the video goes. Um, I've been sitting here, you know, just kind of working on the uh, 71 CUDA, which we finally decided on a power plant for it. And it is going to be... Y'all know what that is, don't you? Viper V10. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be pretty cool. And then, you know, doing a couple other little things to it, like maybe tur ooh, turbos. <laughs> 
we're doing uh it's gonna be a twin turbo twin turbo V10 Himikuda. Yeah, it's going to be pretty nasty. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. Uh, the other thing here, the only other thing that's really going on is I've been boxing up uh, some kits that I actually got rid of, or I'm getting rid of. Um, these five kits have been purchased, so they're getting, uh, you know, structured. They're get. I put some pieces of... Uh, cardboard in there to kind of help from being crushed and uh, they're all packed up nicely ready to go um, once I get you know the money cleared to my bank account they're gone um, it sucks to see them go but you know need money desperate times call for desperate measures so uh, what else we got going on here in the Big Daddy Custom Shop uh, oh, I tore apart my old phone. Had an LG Dare. Old crap phone. I got some cool little parts out of it. Stuff that I may be able to use. Um, but what got me really, really stoked was the fact that big LCD screen and a vacuum plate I'm pretty sure I just got I just acquired a really big flat screen TV for a garage diorama I think so <laughs> so that'll be kinda cool you know once I get the space to set up my garage and you know build onto it or whatever <coughs> I can have a little waiting room in there with big ass TV so that's gonna be really cool uh, other than that I've just been kinda sitting here and going through stuff and kinda cleaning stuff up trying to anyway trying to find a place for everything uh, it is official. I will be moving here soon again. Um, things just getting, you know, a little too crowded here at the house. And, uh, you know, they've had somebody living with them for five years now. So, uh, four years. No, I'm sorry. Two and a half years now. So, um,. It's about time I skedaddle on out of here and make my own way. I mean, you guys know how that goes. So, um, depending on the circumstances when that happens, um, I may or may not, you know, have to take a break from the modeling stuff. Um, like I said, it all depends on the circumstance. But uh, just wanted to give you guys a, you know, forewarning or whatever. I will be moving again. So going through that fun, whole fun process again, which is awesome, and, uh, that's pretty much it, so, um, I'm gonna get back to this, whatever it was that I'm doing, and, uh, I'm gonna let you guys go, probably gonna go through some of my, uh, scale auto magazines, go through some articles, stuff like that, and, uh, I don't know, I'll holler at you guys soon. Catch you guys on the next video. Big Daddy Customs. Peace.